Welcome to this latest Ask Christian Sport. Now, the series where you, the listener, involved in competitive elite sport, can get in touch with a question around what it means to be involved in sport, what it means to connect your sport and faith. Any question, uh, you can get in touch with us and send in your questions. Dear Christians in sport, I'm a professional footballer. I love getting to play matches. But recently, I'm lucky if the manager picks me to be on the bench. I've not had any minutes for the last three months. I desperately want to worship God with the talent he's given me. But training feels pointless when all I do is spectate on match days. This is a tough scenario for any player. And it's not confined to team sports. Individual athletes also experience similar frustrations when they're constantly left out of selection. Yet this is a particular frustration in professional teams, when players are under contract and unable to seek any alternative competition to enjoy. First of all, let's establish some guiding principles for Christians that find themselves in this situation. Here's three core truths that can steer us through tough times in sport. First, recognise your identity is received, not achieved. You are created in the image of God, given talents by Him and redeemed by Christ to be able to use these talents for His glory. Secondly, remember that you're called to live this identity out in relationship with others, including your teammates and the coach. This is worship, as defined in Romans 12 verse 1. And third, respond in worship. True worship is not sentimental, it's solid. It takes courage, given to you by the Holy Spirit who lives in you, to live out this life of worship in the world of sport. Thinking about what you'll do based on these principles might seem complicated, yet it can be simplified using the framework of pray, play, say taken from Colossians 4, 2-6, which says, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which I am in chains. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly, as I should. Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. How might this play out? Firstly, pray, as in verse 2. Pray that God would help you understand deeply that your identity is given to you through Christ's sacrifice. Your performance and achievements are powerless to change your standing before God. This is brilliant news. In Christ, you can have existential fulfillment and security. Whether you make the starting lineup every week or not at all, in your situation, ask God to remind you that He put you where you are and He has your back. Secondly, play. Verse 5 says, Be wise in the way you act. Make the most of every opportunity. As you train with your teammates or approach difficult discussions with your coach, ask Jesus for the authenticity to live out your secure identity with integrity. Know that the Lord has got you even when you don't get why it's so tough at the moment. Ask for the Spirit's power to be transparent and authentic when you approach the coach to talk about your position in the team. Seek to care for them and respect their authority, as Romans 13 teaches. But tell the truth about how you feel. And finally, say, as in verse 6, Others will notice the way you handle the situation. Use that to your advantage to share Jesus. Be honest about your disappointment, but help others to see that trusting Jesus completely changes your perspective. Making the start in 11 is not the be-all and end-all. If someone asks, you could say something like, I'm finding it hard to cope with not being selected, but I know God's love for me doesn't depend on whether I'm picked or not. I want to give everything I have as worship to him in everything I do with this club. 
you may choose to stay in this situation, but it may be more appropriate to leave. Speak to your church leader or close Christian friends as you weigh this up and consider how you might leave well. Here are some things you may want to sound out with other Christians if you're looking to leave. As a professional player and a Christian, it's wise to know your level. If you're in a team where you aren't getting minutes, or if you're playing in a league that's well beneath your ability, your influence in the team is compromised. So, look for opportunities to play at your level, where you can work hard alongside others to gain respect and point them to Christ. This means you will need an exit strategy. Professional sport is a cloak and dagger industry. It's normal to back channel and backstab when searching for a new contract. This presents an opportunity to be distinct in the way you live out your faith, acting with integrity and transparency. Try speaking to your coach like this. I'll give you 100% in every session and on the pitch if I'm picked for the rest of the season. But I want to get more game time, so I'd like to leave at the end of the season. Could I have your permission to discuss my future with other teams? If you've been in professional sport for any length of time, you'll know this is a bold conversation to have, but it's hugely distinctive. As you think through this situation and tough conversations you may want to have, thank God for your secure identity in Christ. Pray God would help you to live with integrity and authenticity in light of this. Pray God would use your witness which is often more powerful in the low moments than when you're riding high. Remember, you can email askcis at christiansinsport.org.uk or message us on social media uh, to ask any questions you have about connecting sport and faith. And we'll try and get to them uh, on another episode of Ask CIS. We'd love to hear from you. Till next time. Bye.